Back here is where we put the pawpaw trees, if you remember, behind this big autumn olive. And the two that I bought, this one right here, the tall one, is doing well. The one that I ran over with the mower is doing well. It's right there. The two that I dug up, one of them's over here. It's doing okay. It's still alive, still making it. And the little itty bitty one's not doing so hot, guys. All the leaves have, uh, not all of them, most of them have shriveled up here. But if you look at the very top of it, it's got another green bud coming out. So it tells me it's still alive in there. It's still trying, still trying to make it. So that's our little paw paw patch. What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture, Hop Farm. And we are gonna go give a little look-see at the paw paw patch and see if anything's going on. If we got any fruit that's fallen. We've had some storms come in the past few nights. So I'm pretty sure some fruit has fallen. Um, typically now, pawpaws don't get ready until October November ish it's the middle or end of September right now so we might get lucky and find a couple pawpaws now it prompted me to go back there and look because it's early is I'm back here in the backfield right now you see I'm standing around garden beds and I found some scat back here let me show you animal poo let's get really close on it and if you can see right in there, those are small pawpaw seeds. There, there's another pawpaw seed here. And there's three pawpaw seeds right in there. In that, in that manure. I'm not sure if it's raccoon, possum, or fox. It's one of the two. Or excuse me, one of the three. <laughs> I've been kind of vigilant lately looking for scat, looking for droppings of predators like that predator droppings because we've had some ducks go missing in the past couple weeks um, completely my fault not the ducks fault it's not like they ran away or did something bad I just got too comfortable guys I got too comfortable and I wasn't locking them up at night learn from me Lock your lock your your animals up at night. Lock your your chickens, your fowl up at night, because everything loves to eat a bird. So we're in the woods. It's time to cut through. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys back when I get to the pawpaw paw patch. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. You all right? That hurt? All right, we got to the woods where the pawpaws are. There's also a bunch of nuts here too, the black walnuts. I don't eat, but my pigs love these things. Little tip too for black walnuts if you have pigs. The husk is a dewormer. So if you can find some black walnuts and feed them to your pigs, it'll help deworm your pigs. Let's walk down this hill and see if the pawpaw trees are doing anything. Alright. Let's turn you guys around. Here's the pawpaw patch. There's the big mother tree right here. Racing to the top. Let's walk around, just kind of scan the floor and see if we can find any pawpaws on the forest floor. See if the storms the past couple of days knocked any down and if the, the wildlife didn't eat it all. Like I said, it's early. That's one reason why the seeds we saw on that scat was small. Usually the seeds in the pawpaw tree are a lot bigger. A 
I'm not seeing any so far. Here's some in the tree still. Gonna give you a good shot of those. Two pawpaws hanging in right there. Not big enough yet. Let's see if I can pull the branch down a little bit and feel them. Feel how soft they are or how soft they're not. Oh yeah, we can get close now. Oh yeah, they're still hard. They're supposed to be soft on the outside. So we still got time. Those seeds that I found in the scat must have just been from fruit that fell off in the high winds we got the other day. But I'm gonna have to be diligent in coming down here in the next month or so, check in before the, before the wildlife eats all the pawpaws. See, how are we gonna get them down? Some of y'all may be asking. They're way up there in the top. Well, they shake down pretty easy. So if we grab this tree here and just give it a nice little shake, it would fall out if it was ready. There's pawpaw trees all over the place in here, just about busting my butt. Here's a pawpaw, pawpaw here, pawpaw here, one here, one here, one there, big ones all right here, right here, right here, right here, little ones all around it. Another nice size one right here. More back behind it over there. Another one over here. And the pawpaws are everywhere down here. Let's see if we can shake this big one and get lucky and anything falls out. Uh oh, what fell? A stick. Okay, so nothing yet. That filled my curiosity. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on something. Obviously, there has been some fruit that dropped. It may not be in this patch, or the ones that dropped in this patch got collected up by the wildlife. So as you can tell, look, we got a wildlife highway right here. They go up and down right here, mostly deer. You can see the deer tracks where they dig in and come up. So let's take their lead, follow their road out, and uh, get back to the homestead. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would, and you haven't already, smash that like button on this video. It really helps me out, I appreciate you. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe. It should be down there in the bottom corner or up in that corner, one of the two. I'll catch y'all in the next one, later.